Hi, I'm Kaman. I'm interior designer at Interior Design Avenue. And I'm living in modern, vibrant and electric home at Amokyo. And this is a five-room BTO uh, with a choice of an open kitchen concept. And the total floor area is 1,216 square feet or 113 square meters. So I moved here about four years ago. We got quite a good number and I remember it's a uh, number 76. Because of that, we actually managed to secure a very high floor with north-south facing direction that we wanted. I know that I don't really want to live in the northeast area or other ends of Singapore. So back then, we just looked at what was available for balloting and Amokyo was the most centralized and best option that we have. The three words that I would use to describe my house would be electric, contemporary, art deco. So to me, I don't really have like a specific theme or I don't really like to stick to one theme. So I just choose whatever that resonates with me. So currently, I'm using using this cloud-based program and actually it's free. It's called Ku Jia Le. It's a Chinese program. La. It's very powerful. They have all the furniture ready, plug and play. So the only thing that I need to really do, of course, is to design the cabinetries, like know the dimensions and then like the walls, the ceiling, uh, the toilet. Other than that, like furniture-wise, right, furnishing, uh, it's, it's all there already. Back then, I remember that um, I was trying to convey my idea to a lot of IDs. So I even actually draw 3D using PowerPoint to actually convey my idea. But we actually engage Zen from Interior Design Avenue, who is now my boss, um, to be our project manager to actually do this renovation work. For the renovation, right, I really specify the type of material or accessories to use. Uh. Back then, actually a lot of materials that I want, it's not really popular in Singapore. Or if not, like even if it's available, it's over budget. So what I end up doing is that um, actually I source a lot of things myself. For example, like the book match marble, the granite, the custom made terrazzo. I actually source directly from local supplier or if not from overseas supplier. Like for example, the island rose gold plated steel column to support the island. That was actually sourced from overseas and it was very very heavy. It's like 88 kg. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean besides um, all these materials like the knobs, handles and switch plates, all these things. So I was very detailed and I know exactly what I want. So I actually sourced all these things from overseas online. In total, we spent about 100000 just for the reno. But like together with the furnishing, the furniture and appliances, everything, I think we spent about almost 200 k just for the house. And the renovation took about 4 months. Actually, I love playing with colours, texture, uh, shapes, uh, materials. It gives me a lot of joy when I try to put everything together, you know, as if orchestrating them to tell a certain feeling or emotion of a space. And another thing is like when people think that eh, this colour doesn't really go, or this material will not actually match each other. But if I can show them that there's other possibility that it can actually happen, it will give me a sense of uh, satisfaction. So I got my inspiration from Pinterest or if not like online home uh, blogs or magazines. So because actually I like a lot of uh, unit furnishing and light fixtures, so I really like the six pendant light at my island there. I know that I definitely have to get them. So I actually designed the whole kitchen space and island space around that as a focal point. Why did I choose uh, open kitchen concept? Because I really like to host uh, friends and family. So like for example, I designed the big island with the rounded edge. It's really for friends or family to gather around while, while I'm prepping my food. And then, and also like for example, the, the dining area. I purposely designed it like a cozy little cafe kind of feel. So we can actually just chat, you know, and have good food and yeah. And we could just sit there for long hours chatting away and enjoying the good food that we have. So the parts of the house that hold special meaning to me, I would say like the hand-picked 
marbles, the custom-made terrazzo, uh, some of the like tableware or even the art pieces and even like the light fixture at my uh, master bedroom. So all these have um, personal stories and emotional attachment to me. I would say try not to stick to a template. So like whatever, just, just follow your heart. Like whatever resonates with you. you, you should just be adventurous and have fun during the whole process. I really think that a home reflects a lot of um, the home's owner personality and taste. So yeah, just try to add things that is really meaningful um, and personal to you, like pieces that resonate with you. So you really have to tell all your requirements and, and needs when engaging your own ID and really try to be involved and just communicate what you actually want and need with your ID as much as possible. Actually, after I experienced my own designing of this house, I mean, I discovered that I really have the passion and I really enjoy doing interior design, which I make it become my profession. So I really hope that I can make full use of my talent and skill to really help people to share this joy of creating their dream home, to, to really experience the whole process together. Home means a lot to me. It's really um, the most important place on earth to me. It's really a safe heaven where I spend most of my life with my loved ones. And it's also a place where I can be myself, yeah, like uh, unwind and chill. So this is really what I strive for.